Let's understand what are outliers, leverage points and influential points. When you are doing regression analysis, if all the points are scattered around the regression line and no point is standing out, all points are normal, right? They are neither of these three. Now, if a point is standing very high on the y axis, right, from away from the regression line, it's an outlier. So you can see in this case, this point is an outlier because it has a very high residual. Now, there is another case where a point can have a very high x value. Now, this is a leverage point. Why? Because this extreme point has a very high x value compared to the rest of the data set. It is not an outlier because it is falling on the regression line. It doesn't have a high residual at all. Now, a point can have a high residual and it can have a high x value. In this case, you can see both of these conditions are satisfied and that's why this point is called an influential point. What it also means is if you remove this point, the regression line will change a lot. That means it's influencing the regression line a lot. Now, there can be other cases where we can see influential points. For example, here there is a non-linear pattern and we are fitting a line, regression line through it. And that's why this point is influential. If you remove this, the line will change. So better fit a non-linear model to this. And finally, you can see that this point is also an influential point and this might just be a data entry error because we can see that all the points are, you know, lying alongside the y-axis. They are not changing. So make sure you're testing all of these.